Hi guys, time to talk housewives. It is time again to talk housewives. Now, I really wanted to do this story today. I thought about ignoring it and I thought, no, it's really good to have in my video collection because it just shows how deep, okay, hatred can go, people. It, it, it can go deep, 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 okay? Let me tell you. Um, do you guys remember Cedric Martinez? Let me put his picture up to refresh your memory. He was the bastard child that goes by the nickname Cedric. He was the guy that stayed with Lisa Vanderpump on season one, almost like a, he was her friend and he gave her some sob story about how his family wasn't there for them. And then he got to free to freeload off of them for a couple of years. Okay. Um, and when I say bastard, when I call him a bastard, it's not in a mean way. It's in a loving way. He just reminds me of, for some reason, when I think of a bastard child, you know, his face comes up. So, you know, it's in a loving way. Okay. Now, um, he has been out of Lisa's life for years now. Remember Ken wanted him gone and Lisa had to put him out and then he totally turned on her, start saying all these bad things about her. Here we are decades later, still talking about the bastard child that goes by the nickname Cedric Martinez. Okay. So he gave an interview a couple weeks ago to this podcaster named David Yantov and his podcast is called Beyond the Velvet Rope. On the podcast, you're not, you're not going to believe this, guys. You are not going to believe this. He was talking about who? Lisa Vanderpump. Okay, you know, I guess he wasn't thankful or appreciative of his years with Lisa. I mean, I don't understand why he keeps talking about her, but he did. He said that um, Ken definitely ha has had affairs with Lisa, on Lisa, um, multiple times. But this isn't the first time he said this. He said this um, years ago when they cut ties with him. He claimed that Ken had affairs. He also said this time um, that Lisa didn't have an affair with a captain, but had a suspicious relationship, alluding to the fact that, you know, their relationship was suspicious with some guy that's a captain. Now, the reason I call, give um, Cedric the nickname uh, Bastard Child is because the way he, he really looks like to me, like, I don't know, just when I say bastard child, his face just comes up. But also he has a very close relationship with the one and only Brandy Glanville. They're, they're besties. Okay. And you know, someone, some people may accuse Brandy, not me of being unappreciative of the things that Lisa and Ken have done for her. Now, I, I don't think that I'm think, I think she's a, appreciative and she shows her appreciation by slapping the hell out of Lisa. <laughs> Why do I crack myself up? No one else thinks I'm funny, by the way, just me. Um, but these two are always complaining about Lisa and everything that she's done for them. And now, and now um, Cedric is saying that she actually, um, that Ken actually cheated on Lisa and that Lisa had a, a, a suspect relationship with a captain. In other words, people, I, I really don't think anyone believes any a word that comes out of his mouth because he just seems so unappreciative. Let's just say Ken was having an affair on Lisa. Is that showing any kind of loyalty to come out and, you know, keep talking about it? But I don't think he has. I mean, Ken is very loyal to Lisa, in my opinion, if you ask me. I really thought, here he goes again, looking for attention. That's what I call him, the attention child. He loves attention. I thought he's wasting his time talking about this nonsense. No one's listening to him. And, or so I thought. Uh, guess who's been listening, guys? According to this reality blurb article that came out this morning, guess who's paying attention? Let me let me see if I can find it. The one and only Lisa Renna. <laughs> this makes no sense, people. It makes no sense to me. So Lisa comes out and says, she starts tweeting about it. Oh, I would love to have drinks with Cedric, you know, chiming in, also, in my word, in my opinion, advocating 
egging it on the things that he's saying about Lisa. She loves it, loves it, loves it. You know what this represents to me? It represents to me that Lisa Renna still hates, still jealous of Lisa Vanderpump. Two years later, people, okay? If you don't speak dos años, how long is she going to be jealous and hate, hold hate in her heart? It's hatred for Lisa Vanderpump. It's not a good look. I mean, you thought you were egging Cedric on, making him feel, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Proud of what he's done. You know, always bashing Ken and Lisa. I think it's making you look really bad, Renna. I mean, come on. Come on. But, you know, I wasn't the only one that filled this way. So fans reached out and they cluttered the comments section going off on Cedric. They're saying, um, stay away from Renna. She's no good. She's a hater. So much so that uh, Cedric had to respond. He says that, oh, you know, I it was just something we say. I probably would never have drinks with her. But I guarantee you people, if she called that bastard, remember, I mean bastard in a loving way, uh, he would go have drinks with Lisa Renna. These two carry hate in their heart. And I'm doing this article just to expose Lisa as being a, a jealous hearted person. Like how it's a bad look. Let it go, Renna. Let it go. She's moved on. She doesn't work on your show anymore. You shouldn't have to say anything else about Lisa Vanderpump. But- she does. I mean, every opportunity she gets, she wants to make Lisa look really, really bad. And every opportunity I get, I'm going to expose her hateful, petty behavior. Okay, there. I said it. It is what it is. I mean, it's a bad look. It's a very, very bad look. Now, according to the blogs, also, Lisa has other things going on. According to the blogs, let me see if I can pull up the article. Um, Lisa's being is going to be a part of a class action lawsuit brought on by her ex-employees. OK, I mean, listen, I'm not always trying to be a Lisa sympathizer, <laughs> Lisa Vanderpump symp sympathizer, because Lisa is human. She makes mistakes like everyone else. But I do feel the need to say that. When you have this much money as Lisa Vanderpump does, millions and millions of dollars, it's very easy to become a victim of lawsuits. Am I um, brown nosing up to Lisa again? Do you guys agree with, with what I'm saying? When you have money, people have a tendency to want to sue you, okay? And um, they're making it a class action lawsuit. They're saying things like, uh, she never let them take breaks. <laughs> Does that, make, does that sound possible? Do you guys really think that at Sir, she refuses to let her employees um, take breaks? Okay, I guess we'll have to see where the lawsuit takes us. Also, they're saying things like she doesn't pay them for overtime and she forces them to give them to do overtime. We'll just have to see where this takes us. To me, it I feel like this is ridiculous. But, you know, I guess he had a claim and, you know, he's allowed to be heard in a court of law just like anybody else. Right? Right. Okay. Whatever. Listen, um, I just don't see how Lisa refuses to give people breaks, um, won't pay them overtime. It just, we'll see where it takes us. But in the meantime, I am here to most definitely report that Lisa Renna still hates Vanderpump after almost two years, this is bad. It's it's ridiculous. But, you know, hey, I got a report about what's going on in the media, in the world of the Real Housewives, and this is what's going on. We have a lot to talk about in the comments section, or maybe we don't. You know, I mean, it's up to you guys. I mean, what more is there to say? Do you guys agree with me? Is Cedric a hater after all these years? Is he ungrateful? I mean, he freeloaded off of them for years, okay? They didn't charge him anything, people. And this is how he shows his appreciation. Reminds me of his good buddy, Brandy. But if I'm just being a Brandy and Cedric hater, let me know in the comments section. Do you guys believe Cedric? Do you guys think that Ken cheats on Lisa? Um, personally, I mean, I, I just don't see how it, hap it happening, but that's just me. And then also, um, do you guys think that Lisa's a victim? 
because she's rich of these frivolous lawsuits? Or do you think that this is a legit lawsuit and people have a right to sue her if she doesn't give them breaks? You know, not, no break, no cup of water, no bathroom breaks either. You know, I need them to be more specific. OK, um, we'll talk about it down in the comments section. Let me know how you feel about it. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. It does wonders for my video. Also, if you haven't hit the subscribe button and the notification bell notifying you when I upload videos, don't forget to do that. I'll meet you guys in the comments section. Until next time, talk to you then. Bye.